this is your skull. This is your skull after a collision without a helmet. Hi, my name is Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to Science Explained and a special edition on the football helmet. Now, there's been a lot of news about football and injuries, and I've been very curious, so I wanted to share what I learned with you in terms of how these things protect players from getting hurt. Let's look at a football helmet together. Hey, here's one. First off, the engineering behind this helmet is incredible. When you think about a helmet, think one, two, three. There are three parts. There's the hard shell, the rigid foam, and then there's a softer foam that's sometimes inside. The hard shell protects the player from rough surfaces and cleats and friction. It also helps to distribute the force during impact. The foam inside is used to absorb and also to distribute the force. And there's also a softer foam, not in this one, but the softer foam, which also helps to absorb the force and also prevents the players from being uncomfortable. So this helmet is essentially bubble wrap for your brain. Now, imagine that this egg is your head. The yolk inside is your brain. Bubble wrap can do a very good job of protecting the yolk from cracking. In fact, I have an egg inside of all this, and I can drop it, and it doesn't crack. Helmets prevent skulls from fracturing. What they're not designed to do is prevent yolks or your brain from sloshing around. That's a concussion. So we need new science. We need new materials inside of the helmet. We might even need a new helmet. It's going to take some time to develop the solution. To prevent concussions and to keep players away from harm, all of us, engineers, players, owners, officials, and fans like yourself, we're all going to have to put our heads together, figuratively, of course. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thank you for joining me at Science Explained, and I hope that you'll come back for another edition.